you are going to hear this news that the man is dead and this is reminding me something very profound you know one time i heard that this man is dead one lecturer one time when i was in school you know this man used to be so cruel towards people especially the only ones but were cool would uh, be fine you know but then i once heard that the man passed on unexpectedly so so that made me to realize something and by the way you're watching me for the first time i am ishmael and your priest and i welcome you to today's video so then again i remember one time where in the bible Jesus had to be hidden in Egypt in fear of being killed by Herod. Up until the death of Herod, he was called out, right? So then again, this makes me to realize something. With that man, it was so funny because he died and it was like, oh, okay. One thing that I remember the most is was how cruel he was to our students. So it was kind of hard to feel that so much pity on him. But then again, I knew that we were not uh, enemies. But then again, every time I remember him, I remember how cruel he was, especially even towards other students, how he caused so many from writing tests and stuff. He was those strict ones to the point of being too heartless. And then again, we look at the Bible. The person who wanted Jesus die, dead and Jesus had to be hidden finally died. And that's when he could be free and go back home. Now I have uh, something to tell you today. That, that those that are persecuting you, that those that have been making your life a living hell, whether it's at work, sometimes some people, they have to quit their jobs because of their lives were made to be miserable by their bosses. Anything, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Let me tell you, given that you were innocent and given that God does see what they are doing against you, just like in the case of Jesus, he knew that the Herod just wanted the child dead. To the point that they even killed innocent lives and at that time god did not kill herod he allowed it to be but there is always a judgment day there is always a day where it all comes there's a day where the sins of the people who persecute people are piles up and they be complete and then god says, now it's time i strike like how we said about the canaanites you know the amorites in the book of Genesis chapter 15, that their sins are not yet complete. Once it is complete, I'm going to drive them out of that land and take the Israelites to Canaan. He waited because the sins were not yet complete. This is the God of chances. That is why if judgment is to, to serve the only person who's been fighting against you, as oh, touching it might be, sometimes you feel me say, why, why I had forgiven. Listen. All along, God was giving them time or a chance to repent. So when judgment has been served, when they've been hurting, remember, someone who is cruel, they are not only cruel to you, they are even cruel to other people. So those sins, they pile up because that person is not even repenting. Herod, they wanted to kill Jesus, but in the process, he did not mind killing even others. He had so many people. The parents of the kids or the children who were killed, they were crying, Herod killed our kids. You get what I'm saying? So, so many hearts were broken. That's why I want to tell you, don't be so shocked when you hear somebody who's been standing against your employment, your promotion, your progress is dead. Standing against you, consulting with doctors to sabotage you is dead, is down, or he has been fired, whatever it might be, so long as they are out of your way. In Jesus' mighty name, you are going to hear the news that a persecutor, an oppressor of your life has been brought down in whatever form, as long as they are out of your way. Let it be so. May God judge your situation in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And of course, that's all I had. My details are on the comment section below. See you next time.